telling you if these popular Colleen Hoover books are worth the hype. Yes. Like, not love. My second fave. It was okay. Yes. No. No, cringe. Love. My fave. Only when I lie in bed on my own And I wake up at night Don't see your name on my phone It's the moments when I Think that I'm better alone That's when I remember That's when I remember Every time I walk past your house in the rain And I tell myself that you are the biggest mistake And just when I think I'm finally doing okay That's when I remember Every November 9th, I'll wait for you, hoping one day you'll be able to find enough forgiveness to love me again. But if that doesn't happen, and you never show, I'll still be grateful to you until the day that I die. Whoever coined the phrase, I love you to death, obviously never experienced the kind of love Tate and I share. If that were the case, the phrase would be, I love you to life, because that's exactly what Tate did. She loved me back to life. How does this? I'll make a cup of coffee for your head. I'll get you up and going out of bed. <laughs> Turn it to this. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last ring. And other girls dream that they'd be Ben's partner They'd be Ben's partner, Ben You're so vain You probably think this song is about you You're so vain I have a daughter I have never held. She has a scent I have never smelled. She has a name I have never yelled. She has a mother who has already failed. Love, Kenna. Broken one, but I'm the only one who needed saving. Cause when you never see the light, it's hard to know which one of us is caving. Convincing you to read books based off their first line. Colleen Hoover Edition. 
I wonder what kind of sound it would make if I were to smash this glass against the side of his head. I pass through the hospital doors knowing it'll be the last time. I hear the crack of a skull before the spattering of blood reaches me. Somebody stabbed you in the neck, young lady. There's a small wooden cross staked into the ground with the date of his death written on it. You told me about your past, thinking your future was me And you were tossing me the car keys But the patriarchy, keychain on the ground We were always skipping town And I was thinking on the drive down Anytime now, he's gonna say it's a love You never called it Oh Lord, save me my job so much love that the whole thing felt like a lie. Don't need nobody. Uh, 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 Hit send Cold Haver into a coma. And here's my list of things that I think would send Colleen Hoover into a coma. Likeable side characters. Actual good smut. A book absent of trauma born. POC characters. An actual good and developed plot. The concept of consent. The Ellen DeGeneres workplace scandal. A Jane Austen novel. A male love interest that isn't the actual worst person ever. The realization that Harry Styles' fanfiction from Wattpad is better than most of her work. Me returning to Goodreads to change my rating of It Ends With Us from four stars to one star after rereading it. The mass boycotting of her novels once we all Google what her son did and what she's doing to defend him. Indian food. I feel like she can't handle Indian food. Character development. Because we all know her character is stay the same, cover to cover. And lastly, sticking to one genre and attempting to actually perfect it, as opposed to ping-ponging from genre to genre and being mediocre every single time. Watch me blind react to reading It Starts With You S. Halfway in, and it's better than I expected. Annotating my favorite quotes. Steamy WTF Laughed and cried reading the same page Need therapy now Our tending to read it Once again, is Maddie. Dear Scotty, she looks like both of us, but she laughs like you. She's perfect in every way. I'm so sorry you never got to meet her. Love, Kenna. Miss for a dollar, who seems like a terrible person? 
Uh, oh my god, I can't say the first person that came to mind. No, say it. I guess I, no, I can't say, say it. it. No, I'd be out of it. Say it. I'd be out of it. The answer is Leo Remedy. Bitch. Everything got paid for She made sure you and your brother have way more Than she ever had growing up yeah. But when you told me the whole story I felt like throwing up Like baby, who cares? Well, I know you care Bring it over to my place You don't know what you do On the bottom, Paige, you were good, I'm waiting for you to be great. And next, Kendall, you didn't stick out to me. Next is Brooke. Next, Nia, you're third on the pyramid, you were third overall high score. And Mackenzie, and on top of the pyramid, going three for three, once again, is Maddie. So no, he didn't give me flowers or candy, he gave me the moon and the stars, infinity. She's a precious angel. Okay, that didn't hurt. You're being dramatic. Reading Regretting You in One Day.